Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over here at Overlook by TriPoint Homes in the Red Point Village of Summerlin. We just got done doing a frame walkthrough of my client's house and they got the plan three, which is, um, I don't know, I don't remember how many square foot, I'll put it down in the comments, but it does have four bedrooms in this one and it's the largest model in this collection. They do have three different floor plans to choose from and they got the different nice squared off elevation. Uh, it's a nice corner lot, which is awesome. She's super excited about that. It's next to the park right there. So let's just kind of take a quick tour. Pretty soon they're going to start doing insulation and then drywall. So when you buy new construction, you do the frame walkthrough to see where all of the electrical is, the plumbing, everything. So this is where the main water line is going to be. And then this is your fire sprinkler right there. Then this is going to have the tankless water heater right here, and it's plumbed for a water softener. So when we do this frame walkthrough, we come and, and the builder or the manager comes and explains everything to you about all these pipes, all of these wires, electrical, we go over all the electrical that's in the house, etc. Now the cool feature is, I'm not going to go in through the garage, I just wanted to go through the garage right now. The nice feature about this house is that the entry, it's a three car garage as well, but we do have the entry to the side. Let's see if I can get in. It's a war zone here, and of course I'm only wearing my flip flops. <laughs> Okay, nice thing is she got the beautiful black Anderson windows on the outside. The nice slider right there. Then the extra, the store is a lot of money, the big white door. And you walk in. You have the floor plan bedroom so we'll go right here so right here they're gonna have beautiful electric right here they're gonna have a beautiful electric fireplace and then they're gonna have the the smurf tubing right here for hanging a TV nice slider And this is for your AC unit. There's gonna be three different um, lines for your AC. So the nice thing about this floor plan is that every bedroom has its own bathroom. So this bedroom has, it's gonna have its own bathroom with the plumbing, toilet, and then the shower is gonna be right there. And then she went with having two uh, can lights and then wired for a ceiling fan. The orange tubing is for the fire sprinkler. And then it has the radiant barrier, which a lot of the TriPoint homes have. Excuse me, we'll go in that room next. And right here to the right is gonna be your electrical smart panel. And this is the half bath. It's gonna have a pedestal stink and a toilet. This is going to be your linen closet, your main closet, and then this is going to be the laundry room and your washer and dryer will go here. And it's also plumbed for a sink. She's gonna have beautiful cabinets. And then this is a pocket door right here. Then you have this bedroom, which also has the two can lights and the wired for the ceiling fan. So it's a good sized bedroom. Closet. Bathroom. 
with the shower and toilet over here. Same thing, the two can lights with the ceiling fan. And the nice thing is, like I said, all the bedrooms have a bathroom in it, your sink, vanity, toilet, and then the shower. And the cool thing is these windows are kind of interesting. They're black on the outside, but I have sold a pantry before and it has this little, like this, which is interesting. That's throughout the house and certain windows. Certain windows will have traditional. This is coming to be popular again. Alrighty, so here is the main living area, the great room. And, you know, when we do the walkthrough, we go over where all these electricals gonna go to, make sure everything's correct. Because when you buy new construction, you're gonna pick out your electrical package. So my client went with having um, the TV set up here as well. No fireplace though. And then the cool thing about these doors are that the pocket doors, they're gonna slide all the way into the wall, which is very neat, very cool. Then this is exactly like the model. This layout is just like the model. She's gonna have two islands, the dining room area, and then the bar area. So in the bar area, you're gonna have beautiful cabinets with the, she has beautiful quartz countertops. And then there's gonna be a sink. There's also gonna be a um, ice maker here, which is pretty cool. And then right here is just a nook in the model. So this is gonna be a nook. There's nothing here. Look how big this kitchen is. Island, island. Um, let's see where, what's gonna go. I know that the oven and microwave is gonna go there. The refrigerator is gonna go there. I'm not sure if anything's gonna go there. It could just be um, cabinets. And then the range, the cooktop is gonna go here with the range head right there. Then you have your sink right there. With the nice size pantry. And then this is right here is actually the gas line or the gas stub for barbecue on the outside. Then here's the primary bedroom. There's gonna be a door right here in front of me. Um, there's not gonna be a door into the primary bath. And then this is for your thermostat. My client also has everything pre-wired for security. So here's the primary. She has, I think, four can lights in this room with wired for a ceiling fan. Then you're gonna have your smart tubing right here for your TV. Nice slider to the backyard. The two little windows above the bed. And all the ACs in. So now all I have to do is do the um, ah, insulation. And then once the insulation's done, is going to be the drywall. We're expected to be done by end of November, beginning of December. Now this is the primary bathroom, which is quite large. You have this beautiful, perfect size shower with a nice bench. There's gonna be a lighting there, the shower head. Then you're gonna have a vanity right here. And this is electrical for the vanity because the mirror is gonna have electrical in it. And then it's gonna be a nice, beautiful tub right there. And then another vanity right here with the same mirror that has electrical on it. Now, when you buy in new construction, say in Northwest Valley in Summerlin, they do have the fire sprinklers and this is the line for the fire sprinkler. 
every time you flush the primary toilet, it's gonna flush out the fire sprinklers to keep it not stale and, you know, to keep it fresh. So that's gonna be your beautiful tub, your toilet area, and then this nice oversized, lovely closet that's gonna have four can lights, which is beautiful. Okay. We'll go out to the back. It's a war zone. So the nice thing about this house, or the location of the lot, um, she has a beautiful covered patio, which is gonna have some four can lights and a ceiling fan in here. It's nice and oversized. Now, when you buy new construction, this whole area is gonna have pavers from the builder. Your front is gonna be landscaped. Your driveway is gonna have pavers. The entryway is gonna have pavers, and there will be pavers over your covered patio. Um, and then this is the back of her house, which is pretty the nice stonework, um, and then this is maintained by the HOA. She doesn't have to worry about maintaining all that landscaping. And then there's gonna be homes above. However, they're all gonna be single story homes and they're not gonna, you know, she's not gonna really see them. So after, they're about to also get ready to do the stucco for the home because it's ready for it. So when we do these walkthroughs, we just go through with the builder and he explains what those things are. Like one of those is the um, gas fire stub. That's going to be your hose. Um, and just he explains everything, what each of these items are and how they operate on your house. This is a very important part to do the frame walkthrough. And I always suggest to my clients that you take a video of the entire house and all the walls, just so you know where all the studs are located for future hanging. Your AC units are gonna go right here, uh, hanging any f f um, pictures and so forth. So um, the gas line's gonna go here. Then you have your electrical plant panel right there. like the park so that wraps up my tour of this house let me know what you think and if you're interested in buying new construction here in Summerlin I sell a lot of new construction you can reach out to me at 702-370-5112 make sure you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys on the next one